Hey, what's up, my royalties? We're back at again with another reaction video. Uh, this time we're reacting to Prisoner or Prison Escapee Casey White capture as seen on body cam. So this is my first time reacting about the situation. Apparently, a prison guard, um, you know, let this six nine guys. Keep in mind, six nine. This freaking giraffe was able to escape from a prison cell. Like, how were you not able to catch or spot a six nine giraffe running around with you know a big long neck? You know, never, how, how were you unable to catch him? Oh, well, kiss the, you know, she was the prison guard and she had the keys getting him out and blah, blah, blah. But he's too big not to spot him, not to slow him down. But, uh, yeah, it looks like they were able to catch him and he's he's clearly in handcuff and they have footage of it. So, let's see what happened exactly, you know, like, I'm just curious. I mean, look at this guy, he's just massive. Casey Just White is massive. taken to a maximum security prison in Alabama wow. after 12 days on the run with his jail guard lover, Vicki White. We're hearing Vicki White's final words in a frantic 911 call during the high speed police chase in Indiana. You can hear panic and desperation in her voice. Hello? Airbags are going on. The chase ended when U.S. Marshals rammed their getaway car. Just released body cam video shows Casey being taken into custody and searched over the hood of a patrol car. Vicky wow. shot herself in the head, but she was still alive with her finger remaining on the trigger. Got the gun in her hand. She shot herself right, in the head. It. She's still breathing. Okay, I'm going to go for the gun. She died in the hospital. Her I mean, I think that's what you want cuz she would be a vegetable. That you know what that stinks? You know, I'm not making fun of people who are like in guys, let me first address this. If you have mental illness, please go seek help therapy. If you think about self-deletion, please reach that you know, hotline, self-deletion hotline, if that's what you guys are thinking. Just want to get that out there. But number two, what really sucks is if you try to, like, you know, kill, you know, self-delete, kill yourself, right? It sucks that if you survive it, right? Especially if you do, like, a brain injury because you, you're a vegetable or, you, you know, you're paralyzed, whatnot, and you're, like, you're forced, it's like you're forced to stay in a body and forced to stay in this world. Like, you try to delete yourself out of it, but you can't. And now you got to deal with the ramifications. In this case, let's say she would have survived it. She would have been like all messed up mentally and she would be behind bars. That would have stink. But, you know, her best bet is just if you're going to do it, make sure you got to do it right. Because I remember sometimes I see on TikTok people blow their face off. And, you know, they were able to survive the suicide. You know, excuse me, oh, freak, uh, self-deletion. They were able to survive that, right? And they just have a huge, like, gap. You know, on their face, it's, just, it's terrible. It's it's very sad, but it stinks that if you actually survive. But you know what I mean? It's good for the family you survive, but I can see it kind of stinks because now you're brain damaged or you got messed up face, body, or now you're gonna face real jail time if you do survive. So that's that's crazy. But you know, my my you know my heart goes out to the family, and you know I hope you know the best for the situation for everybody. You know, death ruled a suicide. Dang. What in the world possessed her to do this? We'll never know. And is this civilian in line for a $25,000 reward? He told me how he alerted cops to the fugitive's Ford pickup truck, which they abandoned in the car wash he manages. It proved to be a crucial tip. If you see something, say something. That's why I did. Body cam video oh, shows he's he's searching the abandoned pickup. Oh, this guy's a snitch. Charger and a Glock. If I'm a snitch, I'm about to get paid. Give me Casey 5K. White is scheduled to go on trial next month for the murder of Connie Ridgeway in 2015. Dang. Her son, Austin, is looking forward to seeing justice done. Why he looks like that, bro? <laughs> what he looks like, he's like... What are you, like, weirdo, bro? I don't know, that's just a creep. This guy's just creep. He looks like a creep, bro. Can't roll over, over till it's over, but we've got our shot again. Well, royalties, that's it with this video. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And until next time, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.